Hi everyone, I'm back with another story and I have a very, very, very special story today. There's a lot that's going on in the world and sometimes we might be feeling a little uneasy or sad or scared. Well, guess what? I feel that way sometimes too. So today I'm going to be reading to you, Sometimes I'm a Pillow and you'll never guess. I know the author. Mm -hmm. It was written by Susan Lovett or as I call her, Susie, because she was my neighbor growing up. And guess what? She was also my babysitter, the very best babysitter I ever had. She was always my favorite whenever my parents were going out. And she wrote this wonderful story, and it was illustrated by Larissa Ivankovic. So I hope you like it. Sometimes I'm a pillow. Hi, my name is Kai, and I'm a kid. I'm also a pillow, a porcupine, a river, a hammer, a noodle, a stone, a skateboard, a mouse, and a tree. I can be and feel a lot of things, and all of them are parts of me. When I'm a pillow, I feel cuddly and soft, and I like to give hugs. I can be a pillow when people are nice to me. Sometimes I'm a pillow for no reason at all. Do you ever feel cuddly like a pillow? Oh, I know I do. When I'm a hammer, I just want to smash and crash. I get loud. I can be a hammer when everything's going wrong for me. Sometimes I'm a hammer just because. Do you ever feel angry like a hammer? I know I do. When I'm a river, I feel peaceful and relaxed. Nothing bothers me. I can be a river when I'm around people I really like. Sometimes I'm a river for no special reason. Do you ever feel calm? Ah, <sighs> like a river? I'm feeling calm right now, sitting outside, just listening to the leaves rustle in the breeze. When I'm a porcupine, I don't want to talk to anybody. I get quiet and prickly. I can be a porcupine when I want everyone to just leave me alone. Sometimes I don't even know why I'm a porcupine. Do you ever feel grouchy like a porcupine? When I'm a skateboard, I have a lot of energy and I need to move really fast. I can be a skateboard when there's a lot going on in my brain. Sometimes I just wake up with extra skateboard motion. Do you ever feel excited? Like, like a skateboard? Ooh, that's a fun day. When I'm a stone, I feel heavy and alone. I can be a stone when my feelings get hurt. Sometimes I feel like a stone and I don't care. Do you ever feel sad like a stone? And it's okay to feel like a stone sometimes. When I'm a noodle, I'm floppy and funny. I can be a noodle when I can't stop giggling. Sometimes I'm a noodle when I'm around other noodles. Do you ever feel silly? like a noodle. Look at that. I like to feel like a noodle. That's fun. When I'm a mouse, I feel worried and small. I can be a mouse when people are shouting or fighting. Sometimes I'm a mouse, but I'm not sure why. Do you ever feel nervous like a mouse? When I'm a tree, I feel strong and proud. I'm growing up. I can be a tree when I've done something good and I'm happy to be me. Sometimes I'm not sure what makes me a tree. Do you ever feel happy like a tree? I hope so. I'm Kai and I'm a kid. 
My feelings can change me into other things too. How do your feelings sometimes change you? I know my feelings can change a lot from day to day. Sometimes I have a lot of different feelings in just one day. And that's the story of sometimes I'm a pillow. So see, we all feel different emotions. Sometimes we feel happy, sometimes we're sad, sometimes we just don't feel like ourselves, and that's okay. But I hope this book helps. And remember, it's okay no matter how you're feeling. All right? Well, I hope you enjoyed this story. I'm so proud of my babysitter for writing it, and I'm so lucky to know a published author. All right, I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye.